A Valley EMS provider is scrambling to stock their shelves with IV bags. Channel 5 News first started tracking the shortage of IV bags back in November. The main supplier of the product is in Puerto Rico. The island still recovering from destruction left by Hurricane Maria. Channel 5's Carolina Cruz explains how the EMS provider is trying to keep up with the demand. Late last year, we told you how emergency services were being conservative in IV fluid use. Due to demand and the rising costs, they're running low, forced to switch to a product they have to think twice before using. The slightest delay causes frustration when every second counts. Lives are on the line here. Sometimes it's, it's worse than it's dispatched for. Hidalgo County EMS takes in over 2,000 calls a day, dispatches for 300, 90 percent of which are emergencies. The main lifesaver comes in a bag, Normal Saline Solution or NS. IV bag solution, Normal Saline, we've been struggling to get some. Our vendors have been in uh, national back order, meaning that they're not producing enough for the demand that's out in the field. Field supervisor Tony Chateau used to carry NS in his unit. He's resorted to giving his share to ambulance crews. I don't normally respond on my own, so if they have mine, they're they're going to, you know, use it on on their scene. And you know, I I should have some, but but we're we're so low that that I don't have any to put on here. Before we used to have one vendor. Now we're up to six vendors trying to get as much as normal saline as we can to supply the demand of the of the emergencies. Typically, this ambulance would be stocked with saline packages. Due to the shortage, they have to use a substitute formula. The problem is this can't be administered to all patients. The substitute lactid ringer is made up of ingredients that can have negative health impacts on a critical patient. Normal saline, on the other hand, can be used all the time. A low supply of NS means first responders have to be selective with who gets it. Some of our medications uh, can drop the blood pressure, which when we administer that medication, if the blood pressure drops, we would need that to bring it back up. First responders will have to wait out this storm and pay triple the price for an S until they can restock their shelves. The shortage should ease over the next few months, according to the Food and Drug Administration. The FDA is now allowing bags to be imported from other countries like Canada, Mexico, Ireland, and Italy. We'll continue tracking the status of the shortage. In the studio, Carolina Cruz, Channel 5 News at 10.